Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. I am of course William Strife and this is Strife Games and uh, turns out that I'm really really close to the end of the game but I think we can squeeze in one more episode so let's get moving. Let's see what we can get done in the last episode, eh? Oh boy. Um, okay, so everybody is on vacation. Hmm. I'll go ahead and generate a game report. There's no extra training that I really need to do. Uh, industry news, we just got word that Strife Fall 4 has racked up 5 million in sales. Uh, let's go ahead and hop over to the R&D department and let's increase the budget because we've got so much money. Uh, news, if you are not a fan of Strife games now, then chances are you will be after playing their latest hit, Strife Fall 4. This is world design at its best, brave, imaginative, and unapologetically following its incredible artistic vision. Only a game with unicorns, rainbows, pirates, ninjas could possibly be better. Jason Green Gaming World. Wow. Okay, so let's increase the, um... The, wow. <laughs> Sell 10 million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. We're doing phenomenally if this is going to be the last game. We just got word that Strife Fall 4, which was recently released by Strife Games, has racked up over 10 million in sales. If the game were a music record, it would have been diamond status. Wow, an incredible achievement. This is going fantastic. So, uh, they are just sucking the ever... Just the absolute life out of, um, the company here. What on earth? is up with these little bars over here. Uh, anyways, uh, game report, post-release analysis of Strife Fall 4 is in. Uh, graphics seem very important for this type of game. Additional insights, try to focus the entire team. Pfft, I don't know what they're talking about. Let's actually check the uh, game history now. Strife Fall 4, uh, it cost just under 8 million to make. Uh, we've made 205 million off of it, uh, meaning that we're just under 200 million in profit for it. That's not bad. Uh, it's 9.75, the best strife fall yet. Uh, Wendy, I will run you through some training and give you programming course to increase your uh, technology. Uh, I'll do the same with Hoffman, or no wait. Johnson, let's uh, let's run you through some training because we've got the tech points and whatnot. Uh, gained, actually, because I'm kind of curious, what type of research is available right now? Advanced stereoscopic 3D, multiplayer, video playback, safe to cloud, online play. Um, let's do no loading screens. What do you say about that? Actually, I probably should have given that to someone else like Angela. Um, Weasley, is there any training that we can get in on you? Um, yeah, Weasley, you can do some product uh, game design course. I don't have enough RPs. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, let's do some contract work then. There's always space to do some contract work, even if it's just the small ones. Let's train Johnson next. Uh, give him game design course as well, because we need to improve his technology. Uh, contract successful again. Uh, never anything that I can't get done. Let's find more contract work. Uh, nine weeks to do the game art. It's kind of funny that the uh, the more difficult one is in the middle of it all. Space Shuttle, deliver part of the Space Shuttle control software. That's one that you really don't want to mess up. I think I've seen that before. Oh boy. Uh, lab report, after careful, careful examination, we have come to the conclusion that the internet is a huge opportunity in the gaming industry. We already see some small signs how successful multiplayer games can be, but multiplayer is usually an additional feature to a game and not the main focus. We think we could develop technologies to create a massive multiplayer online gate, online game, in short, an MMO. A game where tens of thousands of players can come together to create such an MMO more research is necessary. The second discovery is that we could start developing online distribution platform. Instead of players buying games in local stores, they could download games directly from our servers. This would cut out the middleman and we could gain a large share of the market and additional income uh, to fund our developments. Codename Grid and MMO, so that's the research available. Let's just hop right back over and um, because the uh, output is so ridiculously high, we will research Codename Grid, which obviously, if you can't tell from the symbol, <laughs> that's supposed to be Steam. A bold plan to develop an internet-based distribution platform for games. Rather than buying games through retailers, players worldwide can simply download them. The platform features digital rights management to combat piracy and also enables a new market for smaller developers to show off their products, which I think is really, really important. Uh, so let's start that project and we'll leave the uh, 
we'll leave the budget where it is. Thank you for the quick work. Um, is there any more contract work that I can squeeze in? Um, you know, I think I've got I've, I think I've got enough people to get this one done. Yeah, it's enough. I basically don't want uh, Johnson working on anything. Uh, game off the market. Strife Fall 4 is now off the market. It sold 18 million units, generating 254.5 million in sales. Wow! Wow, wee! That's, that's, that's some phenomenal work I'm getting in there. Thank you for taking care of this for us. Um, how many? We got three weeks to do that. That is not gonna cut it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna train... Oh my god, what's this? What's this? Invitation. Dear Will, we, the Worldwide Game Developers Guild, would like to invite you to a special awards ceremony at our main meeting at the end of the year. Please come. Hint. The game will end at the end of this year. Okay, well, <laughs> there's the uh, there's the message right there. Okay, so, um, you know, one more full episode out of me. This is uh, gonna be the end of it all, guys, but uh, at least we at least we got a heads up. Let's see, I, I mean, I know that we're not gonna be able to do it, but let's get this contract work in right here uh, for the space shuttle. We won't be able to finish it. That's just too much. Um, you know what? Let's let's go to the games convention. We're not gonna any sort of a game that I'm gonna pump out this year isn't going to finish in time. Okay? Uh, I I don't think that we're gonna finish it, and it's it, it would be a real shame to follow up on Strife Fall Four, which was such a phenomenal success with a crappy game. But at the same time, you know, it's Game Dev Tycoon. I, I would feel bad if I didn't finish. So um, I'll go ahead and take out a large booth, I'll wait for this contract to finish, and I'll just hop right in and quickly develop a brand new game. Contract failed like I expected it to, but I can develop a new game. In fact, let's develop another sequel. What do we want to develop a, sequ uh, a sequel for? Strike, Spell, Sword, Cosmic Hazards, Split Streams... Hmm... Holy moly wow, look at this. Uh, it's a Dungeon simulation back here. Evil Depths. I forgot that I made this thing. You know what? Let's do a sequel to Evil Depths. A dungeon simulation. Let's select that. Um, mature, large game. Uh, our platforms, like normal, will uh, will be the latest consoles. We've got so much money in the bank. Um, let's see. Wait. Uh, what was this? What do we want a helmet on? This is a simulation game, so... Okay, so since this is a simulation game, we'll put this, uh, we'll helmet on the PC, we'll follow up on the Play System 5, um, and we will go with, with the Mbox next. Um, dev cost... Wow. Hmm. Um, okay, so PC, Play System 5, Mbox next. Um, this is, a sequel to Evil Depths, and you know what, I think that I'm going to switch from Dungeon to... Do I have prison? Okay, so prison simulation is what this is going to be. And don't think of this like, you know, the uh, the game Prison Architect or something. Think of it as a medieval prison game. Something similar to what Evil Depths would have been. Um, let's call this one Evil Chains. There we go. Evil Chains, which is a, a prison simulation, a follow-up to the Evil Depths, which was a dungeon simulation. It's going to be a large, mature... Uh, game for PC, uh, PS5, and Mbox Next. And the game engine, like normal, is going to be the My Engine. Haven't really used that uh, much, if at all. So let's um, let's go forward from there. Uh, 3D Graphics V5. Woo! Okay, uh, Dev Stage 1, gameplay is through the roof. Uh, I think story and quests are low on this, and engine is mid. So we'll remove moral choices, and we'll keep in... Just a couple of these, nothing too fancy, simple cutscenes and linear story to keep things nice and level, and uh, we'll turn on as much of the uh, gameplay stuff as we can, and... Hmm... Let's, c let's come up and remove simple cutscenes, that way we can reduce this almost entirely, and we can get everything in gameplay-wise without the engine really suffering too much, if at all. So, yeah, that's looking good. Uh, Wendy is on engine, like always. Uh, Johnson is on gameplay. I'm on story and quests. So, okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's go from there. So, forward and onwards to the next stage. 
Uh, market analysis. It seems that the market responds particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. Well, that's good. Um, if at all possible, this game is going to, uh, you know, get a massive ramp up. And now we're at uh, G3. Let's see how the numbers roll in. Is that, uh, yeah, 1.7 million. Not bad. Uh, we were voted the number one booth again. So, you know, we're just steamrolling everything. Just wait for the next uh, phase of development. Okay, development stage two. Artificial intelligence is high, level design is mid, dialogues are low. Um, I'll handle dialogues. Uh, Drew, you can handle level design. And who's our next most important tech expert? Because uh, Wendy is too, too, too overburdened. Um, I think Drew, yeah, Drew can handle both level design and dialogues on this. I will handle AI. No, I can't handle AI. In that case, it's going to have to be Hoffman to handle the uh, the AI this time around. Dialogues and whatnot, we can basically take everything out there. Dialogue tree. Um, let's focus on what we really need to do, which is AI. Uh, level design. Let's keep both of those in so it doesn't harm anything. And can we get voiceover in? Advanced body language. Wow, we that's really expensive. Let's just do better dialogues because it's a really easy and simple one. Um, I will handle dialogues, just the just the plain dialogues there. Um, actually, you know what? My 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 load is so um, the burden is so low on me. I'll I'll leave it at this. And um, <clears throat> yeah, let's just let's just keep it at this. Uh, we'll go forward from here and hope that that really does do a benefit for the game. Okay, we are almost into the fourth, uh, the last stage of development, so let's start up a large marketing campaign for two million. So much to get done. Um, coming along, where is it? Dev stage three, here we go. Um, sound is mid-world design is not. Graphics are high on this, I think. Okay, so with that being the case, um, Okay, let's, uh, let's focus on what we want in there for sound, because world design is not important. Sound, I really want to get an orchestral soundtrack in, and surround sound. So, let's increase this as much as we need to. Oh, jeez. It's not possible. That is, that is super disappointing. So, let's put stereo sound in there and increase this just enough. Which isn't gonna happen either. Okay, we're just gonna stick with orchestral soundtrack. Um... You know, there are no other sounds in the game. Um, we don't even have dedicated stereo or... I don't even know if this soundtrack is stereo, manual, or surround. It's just a... There's a soundtrack in the game, but there's no sound engine, so you can't hear it. So it's wasted money, but it's there, people. So it counts towards the game's end. No, um... Uh, okay, so what else can we try to fit into this? World design... Oh, we can open that just just barely a little bit, and um, we'll turn on day and night cycle because that makes a little bit more sense. Um, because even when you're in a prison, if there are windows anywhere, you still can uh, know whether it's day or night. And now it's time to figure out how to uh, distribute the jobs. Uh, Hoffman can't work on graphics this time around, so Weasley is going to do that. And um, Wendy doesn't need to be on sound, she's overburdened as it is. So I'll I'll handle sound because I have the skill for it. Um that is looking good. You know, not not the most phenomenal that I've ever done, but it'll it'll work just fine. Um it would be really cool to put virtual economy in this game because then it would be like uh, you know, trying to figure out you trade your pudding for a prison shiv to try to get out. <clears throat> <laughs> no, um, okay, so let's go forward from there. Uh, hype is building to an incredible high. We'll probably pass 500 before the game releases. And for that matter, I'm really hopeful that I can get this game out before the game ends at month 12. Uh, last year, four Strife games. You can continue to play after the game finishes, but, um, you know, not something that I'm gonna do. Okay, so, uh, we're finished. Now we just need to let the team bubble, uh, flesh out the bugs. Um, we are getting very, very close to, uh, being completely done with the game. Come on, finish those bugs faster, man. Finish those bugs faster. Okay, um, I, I mean, I stopped before I really wanted to, but that's because I'm at <laughs> month 12, week 4. So, um, experience gain, nothing new, no, no new combos or anything. Johnson and Angela have leveled up, though, so let's release that game. Salary increase for, uh, Johnson and Green. 
uh, 76 and 52k. Uh, special training is available for Angela. Uh, oh, holy crap, the R&D lab has created AAA games. Oh my god, I've gone through the whole game without making a AAA game. Well, now I just feel stupid. Um, what? Oh. Quite, quite embarrassing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and run uh, Wendy here through some programming course. And uh, Johnson, I'm going to send him through the game design course. And uh, industry news. The Worldwide Game Developers Guild has awarded Will, CEO of Strife Games, the Lifetime Achievement Award for contributions to the gaming industry. Will has, during a stunning 35-year career at Strife Games, delivered many groundbreaking games. The company is most recently known for Strife Fall 4. Game finished. Congratulations, you have finished Game Dev Tycoon. We will now calculate your final score and show you some statistics. You may continue playing after that. Least profitable ever for everybody. <clears throat> I lost money on that. Most used topic, post-apocalyptic and dungeon. Most used genre, RPG. Research topics researched, 29. Total research completed, 47. Design points generated, 5... Uh, 5.8 thousand, technology points generated 5 thousand, small games 25, 15 medium games, 8 large games, AAA games, none, uh, good games, 15, top hits, 12, that's a really close number, publishers used, 4, self-published games, 44, best seller, Strife Fall 4, <laughs> Fans, 1 million. Oh my god, I did break a million fans. Cash, 742 million. Custom consoles, none. Strife games. Game Dev Tycoon, finished. Game Dev Tycoon. My score was um, 46 million. I'd say, given that this was my first time playing the game, I did phenomenally well. So there's your final score, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this and... Thank you. Congratulations on finishing Game Dev Tycoon, and thank you for, for playing. If you enjoyed our little game, then please consider telling your friends about it. Well, I'm pretty sure that I've told everyone, uh, GHG, Greenheart Games, because uh, I've, I've done something on YouTube for it, and I've had a fantastic time playing. Uh, if you wish, you can continue playing, but please note that there will be no more platform releases or story elements. Which is fine. Uh, game reviews, let's get our game reviews, and... Uh, Am I gonna get a 10 on this? Outstanding achievement. Uh, Evil Chains, I guess it's got- I guess it's gonna be a successful game. Uh, another 10. Probably gonna get a 9 on this one. Almost perfect. Game Hero. Not all games. All games seems to be the ones that are really hard to, uh, please, but Game Hero seems to be my enemy on this one. So, uh, that did really, really well. I'm gonna go ahead and send these other people on vacation. Let's just do a little bit of cleanup here before, um, you know, ending the episode. Uh, I'll send these guys on vacation, and then I think after that, what I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward so you guys can see the ultimate results of the, uh, the sales numbers, okay? Woo! Okay, so, uh, check this out. Game off the market. Evil Chains is now off the market. It sold 17,000 units. Oh, 17.4 17, 17 million units, generating 244 million in sales. Uh, overall, a pretty damn awesome game. Let's check the game history. Did that pass up Strife Fall 4? Um, profit was 246. Uh, no, it didn't. So Evil Chains, even though I released it after the end of the game, uh, did not pass up uh, the Juggernaut, which is Strife Fall 4. So I will end it here for all of you. This has been Game Dev Tycoon, a fantastic little game. I had a whole lot of fun playing it, and I am very happy that you guys uh, enjoyed watching me play it. So, um, I'll be moving on, playing a different game, uh, but it has been an absolute delight to play this game for you guys. Uh, go ahead and hop down to the comments, tell me what you thought. Maybe you want to have a larger discussion on the subreddit. You can find a link to that in the description as well. Until next time, though, I am Strife of Strife Games, and I will see all of you in another play, another time. Bye!